Bare for nu det dog. Det her liv med, hvordan det er en masse. Jeg har ikke så meget opmærksomhed på det. Nej, ikke som det var, det har lyst. Hey, mit navn er Claus. Frivor, hvad man siger, guideline. Ja, vi er ikke Så, hey, vi har fiskeri, så er jeg sådan en stak op med og så er det en Er nogen, der fisker en overhovedet tilbage i Danmark? Ja, I står ude på kysten, og det er ikke noget større ud, ikke også? Alle kan jo slænge 30 gram over til den anden side af skærmen. Jeg ser en masse mennesker, der fisker, og det generelt set, så er problemet, at folk kan ikke ændre retten. Så skal de bruge 3-4 vindkasser for at ændre retten. Det gør jeg også selv, så jeg går ind bag ved mig, jeg ikke kan lide. Ikke? Det er så ved fisken, vi er her. Så står de lidt på ændre retning. Så skal vi lige altså flyve en endnu længere distance, end det bare her. Den skal så sågar svinge den der. Det her, det kunne så være skært nå, det kunne være en kød eller en busk. Der stod her, det går ikke at lave sådan et kast, men I forstår godt på tippet, at lige den skal både, først så skal den rejse den her vej, og så skal den så rejse ind bagved mig, for at jeg kan lave kaster for 90 grader. Det er ikke egentlig, at der skal man lige pege sine fødder i sin nye kasteret. Det er meget nemmere. Så ved jeg godt, at nogen kan sige, at jeg kan ikke gå ned i hålet, hvis jeg kan krabbe. Men det kan man da godt. Man kunne også bare tage et skridt, og så kan man ændre retten. Ikke? Det er relativt simpelt. Hvis man putter højre fod i forrest, det har jeg set nogen advokere for, at man putter højre fod i forrest, så vil jeg kaste den der vej. Er der en kiropraktor til stede? Nej, så lad jeg lige være med det. Fordi hvis jeg putter højre fod i forrest, så er det kroppen låst. Så lad os ikke svinge i den retning. Hvor er det der? Okay. Det er helt over, ikke mindre. Ret. Fødderne peger i min lille kasteretning. Nu peger den lige derovre. Skal vi se, om det lykkes. Okay, så man løfter bare her, og lige det frie vandet, så når man kommer tilbage til, det er faktisk det vigtigste overhovedet, at kaster. Så drejer man kroppen. Her. Når stangen lidt passerer næstippen, så svinger man bare bunden ud på ud. Så er der der. Så kaster man. Jeg har prøvet godt fundet alverdens nye ting og sager. Circle C. Og jeg skal komme efter dig. So second day on the fair, Sunday, and we found Klaus three more in the booth. Hi Klaus, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Hi, good to see you again. Qu quite a few years back since we first met, didn't it? Yeah, what was it? 20 years ago. Yeah, we were working with one of the big shops. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, and now you're one of Denmark's. Uh, very well-known casting guru, so what? Well, so you say. <laughs> casting is is, uh, is your thing now, isn't it? It is, uh, but also the fishing part of it. Yeah. You're guiding, you're also guiding uh, Iceland, right? Yep, absolutely, guiding Iceland uh, from June to end of August. Okay, and Canada, or? Oh, America, I know, America. but not okay. guiding, just... Okay. Okay, Outfitting. working with Steelhead, eh? Steelhead, yes. Okay. And um, and you had quite a uh, a, a bit to, s to do with uh, with a new uh, line concept, with the compact. The compact line, yes. Give me a little bit about that. The compact lines was designed to f match the situations you meet on the medium-sized rivers that we have in Denmark and Iceland and some parts of Western Norway. Okay smaller rivers or to medium-sized rivers and especially with the sinking lines where especially in Denmark we have the slower current and you want the lines to be easy to pick up so the longer head you have the harder it is to pick them up from down below when you're swung across the river so the shorter distance especially with the intermediate back end gives them the right angle to pick them up right away and it's been pretty well received on the market and they fish really nicely. Okay, and they're uh, pre-looped, so just to uh, put them in the end of your shooting line, right? Yes, absolutely. Oh, that's nice. Very good. And uh, I was looking uh, earlier on on your casting demonstration over there. You were tangling in those palm trees. <laughs> absolutely. Luckily, there's no palm trees where I fish, but you know, just the fact that 
they actually did put a tree there. It illustrates very much what we encounter on the riverbanks here in Denmark because we can't get into the water. So we have to stand on the bank and the trees are right next to us or maybe even in front of us. So be able to cast in situations where you might even have trees on the side of you. It was just a little demonstration of what you, what you can encounter. Yeah, I think it was brilliant. It was very good, Dan. You, you showed how you could uh, put your loop out on the water before you were uh, actually making the cast, and then I think it was good. It looked very handy. You know? Thank you. So. Okay, so what's your favorite tackle now? What's your, what are your part of guideline tackle? What do you use? I have to admit that my favorite rod at the moment is a 12.989 Exceed rod. Okay. And of course with some sort of a compact head on it. Okay. So why is that? Uh, well, it suits the rivers that I'm fishing and the action on that blank is just absolutely spectacular. Nice and easy. So if I understand, the uh, compacts are a bit shorter and a bit easier to handle. That's the whole purpose with them. Absolutely. Easy to lift off the water when you pick them out. Well, it's all about the experience, we say in Guideline, but it's also about having fun, isn't it? Absolutely. It's all about having fun, making fly fishing as easy as possible when you go out. Yeah. That's enjoyable. Yeah. If you have to struggle, long lines, in heavy winds as we often have here in Denmark, it's not enjoyable anymore, right? I don't think so. No, 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 no that's right. And it's, uh, it's like when my Thai flies, it's... Uh, it's a pleasure to show people something simple that they can do and that will uh, that will give them pleasure and give them something for their own fishing, you know? Absolutely. But the problem in fly casting, the way I see it, is often it's, it's so easy and simple that people won't believe it. So when you give them a rod and tell them just try this and do this, and it's like <laughs> it can't be true that this is so simple and they have to push harder. So that's actually a funny experience. Well, there's been many casting instructors and and I have to say, I, I I don't like when people try to make this into science. It's uh, this is uh, We do this for pleasure and should be fairly simple, don't you think? Eh? <laughs> Absolutely. The science we leave in the office when we design the fly lines and then make it as easy as possible through the knowledge that guideline has to make it simple for those who buy the tackle one. Yeah. It's good. I think that's good. So what's your next fishing? My next fishing is hopefully some opening of the Danish salmon rivers here in the middle of April. Oh. Even though it's a bit cold. Among the ice. Under the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Today it's icy, right? Oh yeah, what was it minus ten last night? Oh. What's your favorite Danish river? favorite Danish river must be the Karo okay. for sea trout. Okay. I'm a sea trout guy. Remember, I worked in Argentina for many years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and what's your favorite river among them all? Come on, that's a hard question. What's your favorite river? Oh, I have many. <laughs> uh, exactly, I have many too. Uh, give me some examples, come on. Oh, I. There are so many beautiful places in Iceland. I love the Hofsau, the Big Laksau. Uh, now the new gem that I found in America, the clear water in Idaho, it's an absolutely spectacular. Why, why, no, 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 no. Why am I not invited to this place? Hereby you have an invitation. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just had to force you with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Klaus. It's now the, the whole world now knows. <laughs> okay, thank you for this little interview. And I uh, hope you do uh, good in the pond with the casting and have a good crowd today. Thank you. Yesterday was a good crowd, I think. That was good. That was good.